In this video, I explain what is the steady flow process and unsteady flow process by considering this example of the pipe and I also discuss how to characterize the steady flow process. So I use this animation so you will understand this concept very easily. So first we understand the steady flow process. Now what is the meaning of the steady flow process? In short simple meaning of the steady means anything does not change with respect to the time it is called as the steady. Okay. And opposite to steady that is unsteady word is used. Unsteady means they are change with respect to the time. Sometimes we use that the mine is not stable. Okay. Not stable means instance of not stable we are also use that unsteady. Okay. Suppose we use uh, sometimes use these words my friend mine is not stable means they thinking are changed with respect to the time. Okay. So same way this thing is applied here. Steady means that is a flow parameter is constant with respect to the time it is called as the steady flow process. Now let's understand its definition in the detail. It is a flow process in which fluid parameter at particular point of the control volume remains constant during the entire process. Fluid parameter means so first we hear what that is a flow process means it is applied to the open system means something is flowing. Okay. And it is flowing with the steady rate means its parameter. Parameter means its temperature, its pressure, its velocity, its density are not changed with respect to the time during the entire process. It is called as the steady flow process. The steady means no change with the time. This means fluid parameter like velocity, pressure, temperature, and many more are functions only of the locations and do not vary with a time as shown in this figure. So here you see there is one pipe. Okay. In this pipe we consider this area for the our study that is called as the control surface. And we are studying that particular pipe at the 9 am. Okay. So from this pipe, suppose the water is flowing or any fluid is flowing at the velocity of 5 meter per second. Okay. And these and they are exits means this is the inlet and this is the outlet. Now in between we are measuring the temperature at the three different points. Okay. At the first point temperature is 300. At the second point temperature is 250. And at the third point temperature is 150. Now you think that here the temperature is changed and why we are considering it is steady flow. But here you see that is a one word is mentioned. The functions only of locations. Means suppose now we measure this particular temperature at the 11 a.m. means at a different time you are also considered at the instance of this 11 we are also take the 9 and 1 minutes okay so 90 to 903 at any times okay but here we consider that 11 a.m. same way the fluid is flowing at the 5 meter per seconds we measure its temperature at all the three points and they give the same results that means this is the steady flow process okay so here you also mention this location but that is the important points now next we understand the unsteady then after we study the what is the characteristic of the steady flow process. Now before moving ahead I request to like the video and subscribe my channels if you learn some things and for more video I request to visit the playlist for the various subject of the mechanical as well as the engineering thermodynamics. So what is the meaning of unsteady? Unsteady means the thing are change with respect to the time it is called as the unsteady. But here we discuss about the flow process means we are discussing about the parameter of the fluids. Okay. So parameter of the fluid are change with respect to the time it is called as the unsteady flow process. It is a flow process why we need to mention it is a flow process because here it is a what is mentioned unsteady and steady flow process. Okay. So it is a flow process in which fluid parameter at any point of the control volume is not constant during the entire process. Means parameter are continuously changed. Continuously changed means they are changed with respect to the time it is called as the unsteady flow process. This means fluid parameter like velocity, pressure, temperature and many more are not only functions of locations but also a function of the time as shown in this figure. So same way we consider one pipe and we measure few parameters at the morning 9 am. Here you see the fluid is flow at the velocity of 5 meter per seconds. 
so this is the inlet and this is the outlet and we measures the temperature at the three different point temperature at the one point is 300 temperature at the point 2 is 250 degree centigrade and temperature at the point 3 is the 150 degree centigrade again we measured its temperature after the few times or a few seconds or a few hours so here we measures the again the temperature at the 11 am fluid flow is the same that is a 5 meter per second this is the outlet and we measure the temperatures and we get the different temperatures at the point 1 instance of 300 we measure it is a 280 at the point 2 it is a 225 and at the point 3 instance of 150 it is a 120 degree centigrade means we see that the parameter is changing with respect to the time as well as with the locations so this is called as the unsteady flow process now we understand the steady flow process is characterized by the following condition in a control volumes so they have the different five points first point is the mass flow rate remains constant within the system mass entering the control volume must be equal to the mass leaving it and do not vary with time suppose here we in this system that is a suppose the 10 liter of the here we written that 5 meter per second okay this is the velocity but here we consider that is a mass flow rate okay so suppose it's flowing with the 5 meter per seconds in a mass flow rate it is unit is change okay that is a 5 meter cube per second okay so suppose they enter the mass flow rate here 5 meter per second at the exit we also require the 5 meter cube per second this is the first condition the mass flow rate remains constant within the system and not change with the time means do not vary with the time so you need to understand the what uh, what the uh, word is written in a bold that is the important things second the state of fluid at the any fixed point in a control volume is same and do not vary with times okay suppose here they are you see that is a with respect to the time here 300 then at particular point at different time it is also 300 here 250 at the 9 am and again we measure at 11 it is same at 250 means it is called as the different state of the fluids and the property at the different state of the fluids are not changed with respect to the time means do not vary with the time third point the state of energy of the fluid at the entrance and the exit of the control volume does not vary with the time means fluid enter at the inlet it have the same energy with respect to the time okay and same way at the exit at the exit the fluid have the same energy with respect to the time four point heat and work transfer rate across the control surface does not vary with time means suppose the 9 am this uh, water is rejecting the heat to the atmosphere at a 10 kilojoule per second way so same way they are rejecting at the 10 kilojoule at with, uh, with any time in a day okay suppose in 9 am they are rejecting the 10 kilojoule per second then at the 11 they are also rejecting the 10 kilojoule per second it is called as the do not vary with the time means heat and work interactions are not changed with respect to the time and the last point is the chemical composition of the fluid within the control volume is fixed means suppose we are supplying the mixture of the two fluid or a three fluid or a four fuels or suppose we supply the gas and gas have some different compositions okay and the chemical composition is the stable okay and they are not changed with respect to the time so change in the chemical energy is not involved when any flow process does not satisfy the above condition of steady state then the process is known as the unsteady flow process so thank you for watching this video if you learn then like the video subscribe the channels and don't forget to share with your friends